Good evening, everybody. Greg McDermott with Cyber Trading University welcoming you to our FX FBC Trade FX on your schedule. My name is Greg McDermott. We are really glad that you have joined us this evening. Faust is going to be joining us in a moment. Uh, while he is joining us, we are going to uh, get ready, go over the the basics, go through the CTU risk disclaimer. Leave that up for you for a moment. I believe Fausto might be live with us now. I'm going to do an audio check. Can everyone hear me loud and clear? You're good, Fausto. I'm going to put the disclaimer up and let me leave a little information about cyber trading up. And you can take it away, Fausto. All right. Uh, really quick, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, thanks, guys, for coming this evening. Um, hopefully, everybody has been enjoying their trading. It's been a really uh, very nice, interesting uh, market lately. looks like we broke an all-time lifetime high of the Dow, but does it mean you can't profit from the Forex market? And, you know, we do these events every uh, every two weeks. We do these free events, tell you about some great opportunities to trade in the, in the Forex market, because uh, for some of you here, you probably remember, or if you attended some of these events in the past, you'll understand that there are great opportunities to profit from and, and knowing from all the markets. Every single one of you guys need to understand how to trade all the markets. and Today, I mean, Greg McDermott's going to talk a little bit about the Forex market, but what's even better than that is that you all know that every single one of you need to be educated, every single one of you. And we've got a great, a great promotion that we're, we're very thankful that our fellows uh, and friends and our channel partners from FXCM are, gonna, are continuing a grant program going into the month of November. And we're going to tell you a little bit about it where, think about it, every single one of you can get education for free. That's right, a full-blown $5,000 class paid by the brokerage firm. We're going to tell you that in a minute. Before we do that, let me just tell you a little bit about CyberTree University, and then Greg McDermott is going to take it away and tell you a little bit about exactly, you know, why you should not understand about the Forex market. Now, a little bit about CyberTree University. I'm the founder and president of CyberTrading. And I've been teaching people for about 20 years. And we have a very, very uh, popular presentation. Not only uh, as the presentation goes, but we have a, um, you know, we have a very good reputation in the industry being in business for over 20 years. And over the years, CyberTree University has been the pioneer of webinar technology and a, a name that you can entrust. And not only that, but a name that's been very well known over the years. CyberTree University has been teaching for more brokerage firms than any brokerage firm in the industry because what we do actually really works. So I built a really good staff. Greg McDermott is one of my instructors who is uh, focused on the Forex. You know, actually pleasure and, and uh, honored that he's actually working with CyberTree University. And you're going to see just for him to teach you a little bit more about it, you know, why we have him at CyberTree University. So um, over the years, we by pioneering the, the online education and learning about the fin uh, and the financial industries, we explore from going from stock trading to Forex to options and uh, swing trading, everything that you could think of. But today's presentation, once again, is not about just, you know, about cyber trading university. It's about you. It's about you going out there and understanding how to trade the market. And what I'd like to just, before I pass it over to Greg, um, and he's going to be closing out the presentation, tell you guys all about this great, opportunity that every single one of you are going to be getting into is that everybody here wants to learn how to trade the market, but everybody has to make the time and the investment to learn about the market. And, you know, Greg McDermott is going to tell you the great advantages of how you can use if you're a swing trader, if you're an options trader, if you're a futures trader, if you're a stock trader, how the Forex market can help you, you know, learn how to trade the market. And what basically, Greg McDermott, I'll put the link up there, but Greg McDermott is going to tell you a little bit about, you know, how to do all these things. But most importantly, the greatest part about this whole uh, per, uh, presentation is that everyone goes out there and you all know nothing is for free in this world. Okay, the only thing is free is the cheese and the mousetrap. Well, there's no mousetrap here because what's going to happen, we have an exclusive deal with FXEM that is going to be paying for a $5,000 course out of their own pocket. That's right. They're going to pay for the class. 
And the beauty of it all is that Greg McDermott's going to talk about it and tell you a little about how you're going to get that opportunity to get that promotion. But, but before you do that, we want to make sure that this is something you want to do. So if you're going to use it today, next week, next month, next year, don't lose this opportunity. Learn the Forex market. Listen to what Greg, Greg McDermott is going to teach you a little bit, a couple of strategies, and the advantages of Forex. And when he does that, we're going to tell you at the end of his presentation how to go through a full-blown Forex course that he personally teaches himself. All right, so without further ado, Greg, the stage here is all yours. You've really uh, set the bar pretty high there for me, Fausto. I appreciate it. Um, guys, we are going to talk about it tonight. I, I, I'm a big believer in the advantages of trading the Forex market. Uh, I'm an options floor trader. We'll, in fact, we'll get that slide out of the way. You've, you can see the Cyber Trading University slide. Uh, I'm famously known for telling everyone that this is my mother's favorite slide. Uh, I got my master's degree in applied finance uh, while studying, studying on a Rotary International Scholarship at Macquarie University in Sydney, Australia. Earned a BS in financial management from St. Joseph's University. Was a crude oil options trader at the New York Mercantile Exchange was the head options market maker, JS Securities, at the Philex. I managed our firm's portfolio risk for the 10 options floor traders who worked for me in Philly. I was a market maker in the Dell Computer Options crowd, which at the time was the busiest equity option traded in the country, directed an off-floor trading unit, and qualified by the ISE, the ICE, as a DTR. And let's get that stuff out of the way, and let me finish the thought. FX provides the opportunity for everyone regardless of where you live, regardless of what you do for a living, all you need to be able to do to trade the FX is to commit the time to learning how to trade and then finding the time in your day to, um, to do that. And it doesn't matter whether you're joining us from um, in the east coast of the United States, you're in Hawaii, you're in Australia, uh, you're in, in Italy, you're in Germany, you're in Great Britain. It's really late there right now, so you're probably not, but you could be. Um, and it doesn't matter whether you work morning, noon, or night. Wherever you are, you can trade Forex because the market trades 24 hours a day, six days a week. And as we go through this presentation, why should you be trading it? Well, the big reason, it's the $4 trillion in uh, transactions that happen every single day. You're talking about a very deep, wide market available to everybody to trade. And this one I like. And Fausto, you've, you've seen this. Uh, there are people who get focused, particularly those who come to us from the equity market, on the upside. And all we talk about is up is good, down is bad. Well, the reality is markets don't move in straight lines. They move up and they move down. And there's trading opportunities in the up and the down, whether it's an, an overall long-term trend of up or down. In between, there's lots of opportunities to make money, but if you're only trading from the long side, you can limit the profitability. Well, in the FX market, to get short, all you have to do is sell. There's no regulatory um, requirements. There's no downtick rule. The, the brokerage firm doesn't look negatively upon your position and margin you any differently if you're long or you're short. So now you've opened up both sides of the market. It's like you now can trade up and trade down. You don't have to sit on the sidelines on those days when the, whatever you're trading is trading to the downside. The strategies that you have, the way that you trade, whether fundamentally, by charts, however you trade, opens up the up and the down, and that's the beautiful part. Um, there are people who believe that you know you should never short anything, that shorting something's I've been known to say, like rooting for Ivan Drago in Rocky IV. You know, you got to root for Rocky. you got to root for up. Well, up doesn't always happen, and I'm not really trying not to get emotionally attached to up and down. I'm just looking for where is there some money to be made. Real simple. It's, there's, that's why we're here. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. And the opportunities available in the Forex market to trade, whether you're someone, Fausto mentioned, someone who might be a, a swing trader, or if you're someone, I have a friend who, who is, a, a, is a professional trader over in, in India, and Sunil trades, he's a long-term trader, like, like he looks at weekly and monthly charts. You know, that would drive me nuts, but he's great because he and he can trade the Forex for with a very long view. And if you're somebody like our buddy Rich um, back in the offices in New York who wants to trade a lot, you can do that in the FX. And the beauty of working with our friends at FXCM is you can open up an account 
you can practice in the demo account and you can find out what is the way that you trade best to be most profitable. The risk management tools brought to you by FXCM, that MetaTrader 4 platform, if you've ever seen me use it, I love that thing. The charting package is phenomenal. Um, it really is very, very easy to do. The power put at your fingertips for simply opening up an account at FXCM is unbelievable compared to what 20 years ago we used to have to pay to get on the floor. I mean, we had nothing compared to this and paid a fortune for it. Um, and this is all right at your fingertips simply op by opening up that FXCM account. The manipulation and market data, you know, there are people who are going to say, hey, Greg, you know, governments can manipulate just as well as CEOs. Yes, but in general, you're talking about a very, very deep, wide pool. You throw a pebble in it, yeah, you might get a little bit of ripple. You're not getting a tidal wave. Where, so you're not as immune to those sort of movements um, that may be unforeseen. Margining. And I know people who, who talk about margin and try to put it in the fact and allow you to be, you know, turn it from trading, which it is, to gambling, which it's not. Margin is not there to allow you to trade beyond um, your risk tolerance. It allows you to more effectively use your capital to, to, um, to identify and, and um, profit from opportunities that present themselves. So the fact that you have a 50 to 1 margin, okay, Greg, what's that mean to me? I'm a guy sitting here, and what's 50 to 1 mean? Put it in English. Well, what 50 to 1 means is, let's say, for example, the dollar pound, pardon me, the pound dollar is trading at $1.50. Um, it's not, and I hope it, I'm hoping it doesn't anytime soon because I'm long, but at $1.50, if you bought one mini um, uh, contract, and again, I'll explain all this, what that means, but the, the dollars you would be controlling would be about $150,000 worth of pound. $150,000 divided by 50, oh, pardon me, 15,000, I apologize, I, I carried my thing one over. $15,000 divided by 50 is $300. You'd need $300 in your account margin-wise to cover a, a mini lot, which would move each pip, we'll talk about it in a minute, $1. So the margin allows you to get into trades, to manage your risk with a little bit of leverage, a little bit of help from your brokerage company. Here's one of the things, 5,000, 10,000, I mean, unless you're Fausto and know all five or 10 or 15,000 actively traded equities, where do you start? Well, if you're looking at the FX market, you're really only looking at six major U.S. dollar pairs and 18 worldwide pairs. So it allows you to go from a novice to a practical expert relatively quickly. For those of you that like charts, it allows you to learn how does this particular currency pair move? You get a feel for it. When I used to trade Dell, you could watch the stock tick and you could kind of feel it in your bones which way it was going. I can't explain to you how. I'm just telling you you could. Well, it's that eye that I developed. And there are times we do trades and you know in our in our cyber group, which you know Fausto brings uh, makes available to everybody. And people will sometimes ask, well, Greg, why are you like, what are you seeing there? And there are times where I, it's difficult for me to tell you what I see. I know what I see, but I've spent lots and lots of time looking at charts and trading. What you can do is this very small universe of six U.S. major, pair, major pairs and 18 world currency pairs allows you to become, pardon me, an expert much more quickly, building your confidence and building your portfolio. You focus on the pairs that you find you know, if you're someone who is a, a night owl on the East Coast, you might decide you want to trade the Asian pairs because they trade more actively. Or let's say you're somebody who works, you know, let's say you're in Hawaii and you're six hours behind us, but you're a late night person there. Well, you could actually trade the European market probably um, pretty effectively. So wherever you are, you can find trades for yourself. And I pointed this out, but you can trade when you want. Market opens Sunday night, East Coast time, about 8 o'clock closes about 4 o'clock East Coast time on Friday and never closes. So there's always a market that you can trade in available to you. You can trade where you want. And this is one of the big changes. Fausto has seen this over the last 20 years. Um, it used to be if you wanted to be a, a day trader in stock or you wanted to trade the FX, you probably had to get out, leave your house, take a train, take, take your car, drive to a, an office, where someone had set up a, um, 
a big, huge bank of, of, of computers, which had much less <coughs> computing power than the iPhone you've got right now. And that was the only way you could trade. But now, the power of the market is in your iPhone. It's in your smartphone. It's on your tablet. So you can, in the morning, get ready, set your positions up using techniques we're going to talk about. And if you have to leave, walk away, you carry your position with you, whether it be on your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop. Most companies work for you might be able to check on your positions there. So you're not tied to your computer to be able to trade, and that's key. Now you are in control of when and where you trade. And you also get to trade how you want. Mentioned it earlier. Some people may be, like my friend Sunil, a very, very, very long-term trader. Others might be like Rich who wants to click the button all the time and wants to trade more actively, or somewhere in between. Where do I fit? Actually, I'm kind of in between there. I'm much more of a swing trader-ish, whether it's with options or straight FX. You don't need to quit your job to become an FX trader, at least not yet. Maybe someday, if that's your goal, we'd like to help you get there. I'm going to go over a few of the basics. You can't learn a new language until you understand some of the basics, and that's what we're going to go back. You're all here to learn about options. Well, let's talk about the most basic of, of um, pieces of options information. What's a pip? Well, it's really something similar to what market in, in, in the stock you would call a point, but it's the smallest movement of exchange um, a currency pair can make. You now will find that they will go to a fractional point beyond what we would call a pip, and I'll point them out to you in a second. Um, and it's used to calculate your profit and loss. It's, the it's to the right of the decimal point. If you're talking any pairs with the Japanese yen because of the, um, the, the size of the Japanese yen, those only go two decimal places to the right. The fraction would be the third decimal. So in this case, the yen 109.33 um, goes to 109.38.7. What's that move? Well, that's a five-pit move up. And while we're talking, I hope the yen goes back to 109.38 because I happen to be short that one if anybody cares. Um, all the other pairs run to one ten thousandth. So that would sound like, Greg, that's really not a very big move at all. How the heck can I make any money at this? Well, if the, if the euro goes from 129.52 to 129.42, we lost 10 pips. If you're trading a mini lot, that would be $10, a single mini lot, $1 per pip approximate movement value. And here they are, the standard lot. I don't want anybody on the call jumping in and trading standard lots. Um, it's $100,000 worth of the, uh, the position that you're trading. Each pip, $10. That doesn't sound like a lot, but the way that the underlying can move, that can be a serious um, risk to your position to have that kind of $10 per, unless you've got very, very deep pockets. And even if you do, I don't want you putting that at risk as we start this. The mini lot, much more reasonable. It's 10000 Even the micro lot, which you can trade, is only $0.10 cents per pip. If you're somebody who says, Greg, I can't trade a demo account. i got I got to have real money in the game. Well, trade it as a micro. Trade it as $0.10 cents a pip. It's a very inexpensive education. You'll hear Fausto talking about that, the education that you're paying for. So you have to make sure that you take the time to learn. These are the two of the three different lot sizes you'd find. And this gives you the value of a pip if you were on the FXCM trading station. I told you I really like using the uh, MetaTrader, but you can also trade um, off a numbers-based screen. It's called FXCM's trading station. So if you're someone who's more of a numbers person rather than a visual, I work better in the visual realm with the um, with that MetaTrader 4. Uh, but we, they also have and offer this trading station platform, which is great. What are the currencies you keep hearing me talk about? Well, obviously the U.S. dollar, um, the euro, the yen, the pound, the Swissy, the Canadian, the Australian, and the New Zealand dollars. All, um, <clears throat> pardon me, all, those are the, the, uh, the symbols, the countries they represent, and their nicknames. Don't worry, there's no quiz on the nickname, so you don't need to know those. But what is a Forex market? It's made up by pairing one, currencies, one country's currency against another. So the euro and the dollar, what is that? That's a euro dollar. And here are the major pairs that trade. You'll notice something pretty common about every one of these pairs. 
the US dollar is in there somewhere, whether it's the euro versus the dollar or the dollar versus the yen, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar Canadian, Aussie US, and New Zealand US. Those are the major pairs that trade. Now, some of you are saying, hey, Greg, well, what about the rest of the world? Uh, it, you know, if you're not from the United States, um, if, if you're from the United States, it's hard to believe that, there, that the world doesn't revolve around our 50 states, but it doesn't. What about the other pairs that are out there? Well, anything that does not include a, um, that does not include a dollar uh, as either the base or the counter is called a cross. And so the currency pairs that are not traded with the U.S. would be a euro, dollar, dollar, yen. And what does that give you? That gives you the euro, yen. So there's a three-legged a three-legged piece to this. It's if you took the euro versus the dollar and the dollar versus the yen, you would end up with a pair that's the euro versus the yen. Well, you can trade that directly or you could trade it indirectly by putting on corresponding pairs. It's just cheaper to trade the cross rather than the individual trading the euro, dollar, dollar, yen. And why is that? Well, because the value of the dollar cancels out on each of these trades because if I was long the euro dollar and I was um, – long the dollar yen, the value or impact of the dollar would fall out and I would effectively be exposed to the movement of the yen versus the euro. There's the major pairs or the crosses we have, euro yen, pound yen, Aussie yen. In fact, the euro yen and the Aussie yen have been trading like crazy recently. Aussie yen, pardon me, euro Aussie, euro Swissy, pound Swissy, euro pound, that one trades a lot, and the euro Canadian. All of these, again, trying to give you a background, to let you understand why and how you can profit trading these. When we talk about what a currency pair is, it's made up of two currencies. We call them the base and the counter. In this situation, the first is always the base, the second is always the counter. And when you buy a pair, what are you doing? You're buying the base currency and you're selling the counter. It's always to the simultaneous purchase and sale or sale and purchase. If you sell a pair, you do the opposite. Sell, a, sell the base, buy the counter. People will say, hey, Greg, okay, I got into a trade. What the heck do I do? I bought the euro versus the dollar, and it went my way. How do I get out? Well, it's real simple. You just sell it out. I've asked that question. It seems very simple, but a lot of people at this point in the, in the presentation say, okay, you're, you're telling me about these pairs. You're showing me how I can get in. Well, how the heck do I get out? And as, as we all know, getting in is important, but getting out with profit is even more important, and that's the way um, you do it. It's a simple buy and sell. There's, don't worry about hitting bids, taking offers, any of the preconceived notions you might have about being short or being long. In the Forex market, you simply buy or sell. Now, with FX, you always have a two-sided quote. And a bid's where the market maker will buy, and the ask is where the market maker will sell. And in general, you don't pay any commissions. Now, there are places where you can pay a commission, FXCM. I do not know if they offer it. I don't think they do. Um, so what that means is you don't pay a commission, but you do have a bid-ask spread. And what is it? A retail investor, in general, will be selling on that bid and buying on that offer. So in this case here, in the example that we have, here's what it looks like in, in FXCM's trading station. The bid is 130.52.5 or 5. Then the offer would be at 130.55.1. If you're looking at MetaTrader 4, it's simply laid out a little bit differently. You can see a running bid ask of all of those. So if you're a, a trader, you're going to be buying on the offer in general and selling on the bid. Um, the bid ask spread, as we know, is a um, is sort of the the price of admission without an without a uh, without an F without a uh, um, a ticket charge or a a commission per trade. So I was uh, lost on that word there for some reason. I want to talk about the order entry because we mentioned earlier about being able to walk away from the market if need be. And the key to doing that is not only great technology and being able to access your positions almost wherever you are, but it's also using the correct orders. 
Um, one of the mistakes people will make is they, they if they're not going to be diligently sitting in front of a screen, is if you use the wrong trade, um, entry or exit trade, you could put yourself at risk, maybe even unknowingly. Um, order entry on the FXCM MetaTrader, simply right click and hit order entry and this screen pops up and it allows you to enter your bid or your offer price and it also allows you to build a stop and a profit target right in the trade, creating my favorite trade, we'll talk about it in a minute, an OCO trade. Um, also one of the great advantages of using FXCM's MetaTrader is it's a graphics based system where these red lines and the yellow and the black line are the black lines your order, the red line are your are your your um, stop and your profit. Well, what you can do is simply highlight it, and it tells you exactly what your your profit and pips. If it went down or if it went up, that was our other side of our trade. What is the uh, what would your loss be? And if you want to modify that, you simply grab the you left click, pull the line to where you want to drop it. Boom, your order changed. So it's really easy in and out. It's one of the beauties of FXCM's MetaTrader. And again, I, I can't speak highly enough about those. If you want to figure out how you want to modify your stop, just highlight it, click, drag, boom, done. I mentioned it earlier. This is the key to being able to move away from your market. Using an OCO or a one cancels the other trade. And what is a one cancels the other? It combines a stop order and a limit order. And the beauty of FX is that a stop order is much more useful than a um, a stop order in stocks and the reason that is is because in stocks the market closes every day FX really only closes at the end of the week which is why I tell people don't carry positions over the weekend because you can't trade against them um, but if you combine a stop order and a limit order it allows you to only have one of those trades execute and the other cancel automatically. So your position is protected in a, for downside or upside without the inherent risk of entering two individual trades. What do I mean by that? Well, if you bought the dollar versus the, the yen, for example, at 109, by the way, nice buy because it's trading about 114. Um, and let's say you, your, your profit target was 109.50, but your stop was 108.75. If you don't put those orders out as OCO, once one side executes, the other side is still live, and you could end up having the underlying reverse on you and execute that second trade. If you're not watching it, putting a position on that you don't want. So the OCO order allows you to be sure that once you either get take profit or get stopped, the other order disappears, not putting you at risk. And it really is a great way to mag manage active spot trading particularly if you're a short-term trader, this is a great tool to have. I, I, I almost never, never is a really strong, but almost never enter trades um, in the FX without doing um, an OCO. It just, it's the smart thing to do. And one of the ways I like to manage a position, particularly when I get into profit, um, those are occasions when we put a winner in, I like to be able to um, move my trail, my stop to a trailing stop. What's a trailing stop? It's a stop that will move. It, let's say we were long. Our trailing stop would move up behind the current market price at a given interval. As you can see here, I think the next one shows you better. Um, shows you better that you can. It will allow you to move your stop up as the underlying goes up or down as the underlying goes down, depending on the type of stop you have. And what it does is it will move up, but if the underlying starts coming back down, the stop doesn't move. So it allows you to follow behind a moving, um, sort of like surf behind the wave, but if the underlying turns around and comes back the other way, um, let's go back to our example. Let's say, um, let's say our profit was 110, but our entry was at 109 and our stop was at 108.75. Well, our underlying gets to 109.50. We're now in profit. We don't want to take a chance of it just quickly trading all the way back to 108.75 and us giving up all of our profit and losing 25 pips. So we might enter a trailing stop that says, hey, I want to be, I'll make up a number, 25 pips below the market. Well, if the market's trading 109.50 and I put in a 25 pip trailing stop, 
immediately my stop is at 109.25. If the underlying trades up to 109.75, my trailing stop moves up to 109.50. And if it comes back down, my stop never moves. So it allows you to ratchet up behind, um, and it's a great tool for taking um, an actively moving position that's in profit and being able to maximize it without putting profit dollars at risk. I'm going to take a moment to see whether Fausto wants to jump in. I know he is out there. Um, I'm going to take the silence, meaning he has, has no need to correct me yet, and we can keep going. Now, I want to talk to you because the, the reason we sort of put this together was when I talk about trading FX in 90 minutes, what I mean by that is a couple of things. First, it could be if you want to be a short-term trader, you want to sit in front of your screen for 90 minutes or two hours a day, you can trade that way. Or you can use that 90 minutes to find opportunity, set trades if you're more of, say, a, a swing trader, and use technology to allow you to set the trade for you know set the trades up be ready be prepared in the morning you know in the evening whenever you get in using your 90 minutes and then move away because you've got your stop set you've got your limit set and you have your targets and you can move so let's talk about 90 minutes trading and what i want to point out by looking at these charts is a lot of times people will say ah yeah there's nothing going on nothing happened and if you looked at this 4 hour chart just quickly and weren't really paying attention, you'd say, ah, geez, there was no trading there. There's no money to be made there. It's not really kind of went up, came back a little, nope, not a great, came down a little up, nothing really going on. But as you dig deeper, what we're going to talk about here are the different views of a particular currency pair. Well, there's a screenshot of that same U.S. Canadian in a one hour. And now you're saying, oh, well, I mean, that looks like a little busy. Maybe we could have made some money. And then we look at the five-minute chart, and you say, holy mackerel, there was a lot going on there. And I'm not telling you that um, you're all going to trade on five-minute charts, but I'm using this as an example to show you that underneath the calm of what appeared to be here, nothing going on, on a five-minute chart, there was a lot going on. And if you look here, I'm going to highlight it for you. Between this low and this high, we had went from 109.60 to 109.97. That's a 37 pip move in about, at, on a five minute chart, a little over an hour. Now, I want to be clear with you. I am not telling you that if I were trading this, I would have bought the bottom and sold this top. Anyone you hear who offers to help you with trading, who tells you that, I want you to run. Do not walk, run the other way because they're not telling you the truth. But what I'm showing you is there was opportunity in here. In fact, after it traded this high, traded back down almost to the same low again, and then traded close to, in about an hour and a half, the same level it did. And so what I'm telling you is you've got movement. And as a trader, what do we want? You just want it to move. And gosh, if there isn't a lot of movement here. That's a lot of opportunity to get in and get out. And I'm not telling you you'd be buying bottoms and selling tops, but what I'm telling you is there's lots of pips between the bottoms and the tops. And that's what we're going to focus on. And you'll hear me say this, whether it's options trading, whether it's FX trading. The money is in the middle. You're, you're not going to buy the bottom or sell the top. You just aren't. You aren't going to, to buy an option and take it to you know you're not going to you know buy a put spread and you know take it to absolute max profit that's not your objective your objective is when you enter a trade whether it's any trade what's my risk what's my out where's my stop <clears throat> and based on that where can i make a profit and i'm going to tell you that by spending 90 minutes a day getting ready and prepared or trading actively you can find pips in this market now this is a 1 minute chart and I'll be honest, one minute chart will make you crazy. You know, trust me, I'm somebody who, who's been accused of being crazy. Um, but what it's here to show you is there are lots of pips in here. And whether you're making a couple of pips a couple of times or one bigger trade, who really cares? It's all just dollars in your account. And that's what we're here to generate for you. 
this is the end of that same chart, you know, on a dollar. And again, I'm, I'll be honest, <clears throat> you know, trading a minute chart would make me nuts. I use it more for a reference. And even the stuff that you've learned as a trader, um, I'm not going to tell you that trading uh, FX with a five-minute Fibonacci is going to make you rich. Uh, but what I will tell you is, uh, this is an example. We'll show you a lot of the things that you've learned trading using charts, whether it be technical analysis, even fundamental analysis, a lot of that plays right into trading FX. So you don't need to learn um, a whole new method of trading. What you really need to work on is the language that we've talked about and the, and the idiosy idiosyncrasies and, and particular um, characteristics of the pairs you want to trade. Apply 80% of the knowledge that you have pick up the other 20% in education about FX, and then you're on your way. Fausto said it repeatedly that, in general, trading is trading. 75, 80% of the stuff you learn applies whether you're trading futures, currencies, options, equities. It's the same, and most of it has to do with the distance between your right ear and your left ear, learning the mentality of a trader, knowing how to set a stop and not to, to move it, when to actively pursue up profits and when to just take your losses and move on. So as I said, you want to apply the same trading strategies you've used for equities, options, or futures. Focus on shorter time frames and then actively manage these positions with, as we know, the tight stops, the quick profits, the OCO, and the trailing stops. Because here's what we know, pips are pips. Make it 100 pips on a two-day swing trade, which would be a nice day's work or two days' work, is the same amount of money in your account as making 10 pips 10 times in two days. And the, the final point here is you want to build your confidence and improve your eye for the pairs you trade by um, working with the FXCM demo account or maybe micros and making sure that you develop an eye, develop a strategy, that's going to lead you to success. And that's what we're here to help you to do. We're here to put in that last 25% of FX knowledge specific to trading and trading profitably. I'm going to give you one trade. Fausto's always kidding me, like, Greg, come on. Make sure you give him something. So I'm going to give you something. And this is a trade. I'm not going to tell you that this shows up every week. But what I am going to tell you is on Friday mornings, I want you looking at your charts, taking the opportunity to try to find a setup for this trade. And since we're all friends here, I'm going to tell you something right now. This trade might be already setting up for this Friday now, and it would be in the dollar yen. So here's what I'm going to show you. We want to look for an actively traded pair that has made a strong move over the past week. Now, again, I don't care whether it's up or down. The one I just threw out there for you, the dollar yen, it's up. It's been, uh, since last week, <clears throat> took off from about 109, now trading 114, something like 60-ish. Um, traders who have made money on, for example, that move will naturally look to tr take profits as the market moves towards Friday. Why is that? because the market closes on Friday. And there's more risk on your position when the market is closed. And if you've made some money, you're going to want to you know, lean towards taking some of it off. And the trade should set up in the morning of the New York trading session. So, you know, 8.30, 9 o'clock, start looking for some opportunities. Here's an example. This was a dollar yen from a while ago. Um, but you'll see the last little trade here, and I'm going to have to grab the pen. This red bar down is exactly what we were looking for. We had about six days up, and then we were looking for a little bit of give back. I mentioned it earlier. Markets in general do not trade straight up. There's lots of up and down in an up market and down and up in a down market, and there's money to be made on those moves. So let me erase that and further roll out this example. Now here's that, that same on a four hour chart and you can see this is the setup that we saw and this bar that moved here, I'm going to highlight it, this is that 
down move. Now this is a four hour, that red, that red one there. And what happened was we moved up and then as we moved towards the end of the you know, middle of the day Friday, things just started sitting there and weakness came in and people are thinking, geez, I was long, it's not moving, I may want to get out. Um, you have to remember, people forget this, the market is made up of people. Yes, there are black boxes and there are algorithms and there are computers, but ultimately they're people. And people had made money on this move and didn't want to let it risk over the weekend. So the natural tendency would be for that market to, to give some back. So what we saw here was the one hour, you can even see how extended this sort of sideways was. <clears throat> and once we took out that level, and this is a one hour chart, so this is like the last five hours. Once you once you broke through this through this pivot and down, that's a it was a sell signal that should have confirmed that you were on the right path. Let me move this forward. And even at the five minute, you can see how extreme that move is. And then again, <coughs> pardon me, that was the 15 minute, I apologize. And there's the five minute. And again, we got to the end of the day and we're sort of like, oh, okay, nothing going on. We've reached, we've reached three o'clock in the east. Time to go home. Time to find happy hour. And, you know, positions are closed out and then the market just kind of trades, you know, a little bit sideways. So you have to remember that. And that's a one minute just to show you guys. Here it was again, happened another one. It was the same sort of move to the upside on the dollar yen. There's the reversal down in four hours. There's the one hour. Um, that's an extended one hour. And what are we talking about here? Why did I give you this trade? Well, this trade benefits from the natural ebb and flow of all trading markets. I just mentioned it. Trading markets are made up of traders, people. And the psychology of trading is important to understand when you're trying. And it's one of the things I think we do well at Cyber Trading University is helping you get the trader's mentality. Um, think about things the way traders think about it. I mentioned it the other night in my options class, but um, there's a difference between trading options and being an options trader. There's a difference between trading FX and being an FX trader. And that's where we're trying to get you, from being someone who can trade FX to being an FX trader. Um, it's similar to the price reversal you see a lot of days at the end of the trading day on the equity market because, again, the market's closed. You're somewhat at risk. People are, their natural inclination is to take profits and take some risk off. And this trade really should use very tight stops and be actively managed. Again, it doesn't always set up, but when it does, there's money to be made on the simple reversal. I also am going to tell you, last thing, I'm going to give you a secret. This is one that no one else is going to tell you about, but you should take a loss. And yes, I said take a loss. When appropriate, take your loss and move on. Fausto is famous for saying um, to judge him on his losers, not his winners. And when you become a trader, you set a stop and you leave it there. And you don't move your stop thinking, oh, you know, if I just, if I give myself another 10 pips to the downside, put a little more at risk, this thing's definitely, I'm definitely right, it's going to turn around. Take a loss. And what you should do is take a loss and then re-examine the position because I promise you, you will make a better decision on re-entering that or another trade without a position on than with a position on. This is from a guy who knows, trust me, I've taken more losses than everybody on this, this call combined. And when you try to make a decision with a, with a biased opinion because of an open position, your, your judgment can be clouded. I think it's easier. So look, so you're going to have losses. You, anyone who tells you that you know it's magic and there's a black box and, and they can always they're always winners, they're lying to you. It's not they're not a real trader because traders take losses. But the idea is you mitigate your losses, you take them, you learn from them, and you move on and become a better trader. And that's what we're here to do. In this example, 
<clears throat> back in February, I, you know, in our paper trading account, took a loss and was able to bounce back, make a better decision and, um, you know, tripled that loss and took off, you know, and, and made money on, on that trade. But I was able to do it because the first thing I did was take the loss, then reestablish the position, put the risk in place and was able to make money. Again, just an example, but the mentality of a trader is what separates you. Again, you want to become somebody who's an FX trader, not somebody who trades FX. Fausto, you want to jump in with any closing? Because we would love to be able to offer everybody the um, um, the offer that you talked about. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm here. Um, so everyone, uh, just really quick, anyone have any questions for, for uh, Greg before we, uh, we come to a close? If we could just look at the chat. Anyone here have any questions regarding what we saw and what we've learned so far? Actually, Greg, I can't see the chat. If you can uh, make me a... I guess you could probably see the chat. Any, any questions, uh, Greg? I want to see if anybody has any questions. All right. Well, let me just open something up because I'm having a tough time seeing the questions. Hold on one second, everybody. All right, hopefully everybody can see my screen right here. And um, all right, so basically what we're going to be talking about right now, ladies and gentlemen, that hopefully everybody can see the value of what you get when it comes to the Forex market. And the beauty about this whole thing is that um, Greg McDermott actually has a great course that's going on right now for all of you. And for everyone here that would like to join, we have a big promotion with FXCM. All you have to do, okay, all you have to do is you can get um, the course right here. It's four thousand dollars. All right, this course will be paid by FXCM. All you have to do is open up an account with FXCM with two thousand dollars. That's all you have to do. Open an account with them with two thousand dollars. You have your own account. You can do whatever you want with the money. Anything, anything. It's all yours. All you have to do is sign up with us. We charge you twenty bucks. And, and it automatically qualifies you for the grant. And with that grant, all you have to do, they'll pay us once you open up that account. So all you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is go right to this website, right on our homepage, and register for it. And uh, everything there will be, um, everything there will be, uh, oops, let me just get that there. And hopefully everybody can see that, but all you need to do right there by registering right on the website, you'll be able to get that promotion. All right? So hopefully everybody, all you need to do is just go right to the homepage of the website, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll see the banner is right there. Um, it's number three on the list. Just click over here. It says Forex Trading Course. As this rotating banner goes there, you click right there, FXCM, and you'll get that full-blown course that Greg McDermott is going to be teaching. All right, everybody. In the meantime, uh, I'd like to thank everybody to come. Hopefully you enjoy your class with Greg McDermott. And for everybody else, uh, we have an event that's coming also tomorrow. We're going to be doing a live trading event on the stock market. And you could also join there, live trading with Fausto for free on the right-hand side right here. Come and join me for my live trading event on tomorrow and Friday. Everybody, thank you very much. Thanks for coming, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a pleasant day.